Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to be learning about regular expressions. So regular expressions are very powerful, especially when you have to extract some sort of information from all the text which you have. Now there are some scenarios in which you can just, you know, go away with a regular expression. You don't really need to use it. You can just use any other logic which is available in all the programming languages. But there are really some scenarios in which using regular expression is the only way forward. And especially when you want to do a lot of, you know, pattern analysis or pattern based matching in that scenarios, I really find regular expression very useful and it is a time saving as well. So in this example, we are going to learn about regular expression. And if you see, I have opened a website which is called uh, regexr.com. Okay, so which is regular expression.com. So this is a website where you can just go and uh, if you are a beginner, you are learning about regular expression, then you can just put your string here or the text data here and then you can uh, start writing your regular expression and then it is going to show you what is the word or what is the you know digit or whatever you know you are trying to match uh, it is going to highlight those things so it is really very useful especially when you are a beginner and there are several other websites uh, which does the same thing as well so depending on you know uh, whichever interface you are comfortable with you can start using that website all you have to do is just go to google and then search for regular expression uh, website online website or regular expression generator and then you are going to probably get one of the links which is going to land you to uh, one of these sort of website. But this is something which I already find very useful and I already recommend it to all the beginners. Uh, now other thing which you see here is I have opened pandas and just wanted to show you that in fact in pandas also you have something which is called uh, string.extract uh, and extract uh, or extract all uh, as well. Okay, So both of these allows you to do pattern based matching. Uh, in data frame and then based on you know whatever the pattern you can extract some information and put that information in uh, any other column okay so this this can you know be really useful when you are doing data science things now let's move on and try to see you know some of the example and try to see how this really works so we are going to you know start from very basic and then probably we are going to see some intermediate level of things and we probably won't be going too advanced in this video and if you have any advanced level of concept or advanced level of uh, pattern matching which you want to do in that case you can just write in the comment section and i'll be uh, helping in that but this is going to be a beginner and intermediate level of regular expression uh, you know uh, if you go to regexxr.com uh, this is you know this is the interface which you get you get some string and also you get some sample uh, regex uh, which has already been written now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this from here and I'm just going to uh, put a sample text here. So uh, I also have opened a Jupyter notebook which uh, which is having some of the you know code which I'm going to uh, walk you through and going to show you how you can use it in Python programming or how you can use it with Pandas. So here now what you see is I have some uh, mobile number. Okay, I have a mobile number which uh, which can uh, contains country code and also there is you know some digits and also if you see uh, there is a pattern which 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 has been defined in this mobile number okay so we have after each four characters we have a hyphen okay or you can say uh, after each four digits we have hyphen so now let's say i don't really uh, i'm not interested in any of the non digit characters all i'm interested here is i just want to grab the number okay which is the uh, digit number so in that case we can do slash d and once you do slash d what it is doing here is you can see it has now uh, highlighted all the non digit character okay so basically it is now able to select all the non digit character now if i re remove this all the non digit character then all we are going to left uh, here is with the digit okay which is going to be the cleaned version of mobile number now uh, i'm using the same example here in the python program and uh, in python we have re module which i'm using so i have imported re and then uh, it's just a contact number variable in which I have uh, I have used the same string which I was showing you here. And after that, what I'm doing is it is the same regular expression which we had put here, okay, slash uh, capital D to match non-digit uh, character. And then I'm saying replace it with uh, now basically I'm giving here empty string. And then I'm giving contact number variable which consists of this text. Okay, now if I run this you can see all I'm getting here is cleaned up version of a mobile number. Okay, so now this thing you can apply not only to any text, you can apply it uh, in a complete file. 
let's say uh, you have a file which consists of all the discussion which your customer service representative had made with all the customers and you uh, suspect there might be a lot of mobile number which might be available in the text file then you can read the text file and then apply this pattern matching and then you'll be able to grab all the mobile number now it doesn't really matter your uh, the mobile number comes in the beginning or in the middle or in the end so position of it doesn't matter as soon as it is able to find this pattern it is going to uh, extract that and then going to put it uh, you know in whichever data or whichever format format which you want to put it in so that's why you know regex is very useful it doesn't really care uh, which is the position or you know at what posi position certain things exist as soon as it matches the pattern it is just going to extract that thing uh, extract that so now uh, let's move on to other example uh, if you see here on the left hand side it it is having a cheat sheet which actually is uh, quite you know useful especially when you are beginner you can see all of the examples which are available here so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to refresh it again so we can you know have some sample uh, text here and then we will try to see you know how to match everything and again all of this we are going to do one by one so now here on the left side you can see it is showing dot so dot is going to match any character except new line so now here if i just write dot you can see it has highlighted everything okay so it is uh, dot is going to match everything so whenever you want to match everything you just need to use dot and now i'm just going to change it to slash w slash w is going to match uh, word digit or white spaces slash w is basically going to uh, match any word now if i do a slash w plus in that case it is just going it is going to match complete word okay so it is not matching character by character it, it is matching complete word and you can see how it has been highlighted in this interface as well if you don't want a word then again you can uh, change uh, this uh, w to capital w and in this case it is going to match everything other than word okay so if it finds a word it is not going to match that and it is going to match everything else so now this can be useful in a scenario where you want to do let's say text uh, classification or text labeling and in that case you really don't care about punctuation so you want to remove everything else other than actual word so in that case uh, this is some this is a regular expression which you can use uh, and it is going to remove everything uh, any punctuation basically and going to leave only the words and then you can use uh, some other techniques which are called lemmatization or stop words removal uh, which is going to give you even cleaner data you know to do nlp sort of things now other thing which we have here is you can see we have this kind of syntax which is basically uh, square brackets and in that you give the range uh, of letters which you want to match so for example if i just uh, follow the same abc in this case you can see it is going to match a or b or c okay now regardless of the position uh, where these uh, characters exist it is it is going to match everything so here you can see in was we have a so it match match that and similarly we have c here we have a here so it is matching and highlighting all of those things now of course you can you can have actual word which uh, you can have actual characters or letters which you want to find for example let's say in this if you uh, in this you know text you want to know whether someone talked about you know dollar or probably use dollar symbol in that case you can you can use dollar symbol now one thing which you need to do is before you use dollar symbol because dollar is a special character so you need to use uh, escape character so in this case that's the reason i'm using slash dollar now you see nothing has matched here on the screen now if i write uh, let's say if i write five dollars now you can see this dollar symbol has been highlighted here and it is matching okay so this is how you can uh, quickly explore or quickly scan through the text and see whether someone had discussed about money or probably had discussed about dollar this is one example which i am giving probably in your data or in your scenario you may have different type of example which you want to uh, kind of you know scan through your data and see whether this exists or this doesn't exist and that is a scenario where you can use this kind of range and now again if you want to see the, everything else other than uh, some letters in that case you can again use a not symbol so here for example uh, earlier we talked about kbc now if i just uh, use tilde character in the beginning then it is going to match everything other than uh, these letters which i have specified here okay so now it can be any letter or it can be a range of letter for example now here rather than this you may also specify some range okay so 
for that you can see here we have something like a to g now you can see anything which comes between uh, alphabetic you know a to g is not going to get matched and anything other than that is going to get matched and you can see here in the string as well that uh, anything other than a to g has been highlighted and if you want to match anything between a to g in that case you can just remove the tail character from the beginning and then it is going to match everything else now again i think th this can also be you know well explained when you have you know better data so now let's uh, let's again move on and uh, try to you know uh, see some some real life example okay so what i'm going to do uh, here is let's say i have this text so in this text you can see we have a mobile number okay so let's assume this is a contact number and uh, it is a 10 digit mobile typical you know 10 digit mobile number so in this case let's say if you just want mobile number what you can do is you can do slash d which is going to match all the digits now you can see if i have put slash d it has highlighted all the digits and also here if you see in our example uh, we have uh, used slash d and in the curly braces I have used 9 uh, comma 10 ok so let's see what does that mean now in this example you can see I have written my phone number is this and then I'm going to write uh, my let's say we want to write my age and let's say I put some number that my age is this and also I say my uh, uh, let's say I say my ID is and I give my ID ok now you can see even though we intended to match only uh, only mobile number it is now matching any digit so in this case of scenario where we know that mobile number is always uh, 10 digits or in fact it can be 9 digits or 10 digits or 11 digits as well in some countries so for example here in Indonesia we have 9 digit mobile number as well and in fact 11 digits uh, mobile number as well so in this case we want to specify some range okay so we want to say only look for numbers if it is of you know this much of length so if it is 9 digits then only match it or if it is between 9 to 10 digits or 9 to 11 digits then only match that number so that's why we use curly braces okay to specify some sort of range so in this case I'm gonna say uh, only match the digit when it is between 9 to 10 digits okay so in this scenario you can see now this mobile number has been highlighted and remaining other things like age or ID all of those has not been extracted okay so this can be useful when you have lot of you know uh, text lines and out of that you just want to grab certain information you don't want to grab you know lot of information you only want to grab a useful information and you want to put it in a different column so for example now in this example you can see I have uh, I, I have imported pandas and I have a list which is uh, text and in this I have you know lot of uh, different uh, lines okay you can see each of these line is more like a conversation you know uh, which in which uh, people are telling their mobile number so one of the line is my um, phone number is and then the phone number and in other line phone number actually begins in the uh, begins in the beginning and in the third line we can see that mobile number is you know somewhere in the middle and also in the fourth line we can see along with the mobile number we also have some error message okay so what we want to do here is we want to you know uh, use regex to extract only the mobile number from this uh, text and then we want to put it in a new column okay so for that what I have done is first of all uh, this is a list so from list if you want to create a data frame in that case you just need to use pd.dataframe and you need to pass on that list and once you do, uh, do that it is going to create a data frame and then by default the column name is actually going to be zero and I just want to rename that to description so that's the reason I'm using it and then we are creating a new column which is called uh, mobile uh, in data frame and in mobile we are using uh, extraction so I'm saying df dot description now description in one of the columns which we have you know just uh, just uh, created above and then we are saying extract any digit which is between 9 to 10 uh, digits of length okay and then show us the data frame so if I run this you can see we are able to see in the description we are able to see all the text which we had here and then here in the mobile number we can see clean version of our mobile number okay so you can see if you probably had to do you know something similar using any other you know technique or any other uh, let's say you wanted to do any other matching technique for example a string contains or string starts with or string ends with or something like that 
it might have been you know little complicated or probably in some scenarios it might even not have been possible but in this scenario you can see you know how easily uh, just with one line you are able to extract mobile number regardless of any position uh, this mobile number exists on now let's move on and see other examples okay now in some uh, situation you want to match anything which starts from the beginning of a new line okay so for example let's say i have written hi uh, this is my number and then we have written hello and again some text now in this scenario let's say you only want to match uh, character h if it starts in the beginning of a new line okay so if anything which starts in the beginning of a new line so uh, let me here see okay so here in the anchors you can see we have uh, these two you know example one is tilde and the other one is uh, this dollar symbol so these are special characters so you use a tilde when you want to match anything in the beginning of a new line okay so for example here i can use uh, this tilde and i can say h and then now you can see it is matching first line now one thing uh, which is uh, here in this interface is that you need to change this flag okay to a multi line and in that case it is going to you know find this across multiple lines okay but now you can see how we are able to you know uh, find something which exists only from the beginning uh, only in the beginning now this can be useful in the scenario where let's say you have new chat and whenever new chat happens it always begins with you know some uh, some sort of keyword and then you just want to grab that keyword okay if this if anything begins with this keyword you want to gra grab the position of that okay so in those sort of scenario it can be very useful and again you can also use uh, ends with so for example in this case let's say if i want to say uh, grab anything which or find anything which ends with r okay so we need to use this dollar symbol and also first we need to type the character and then we need to use this a uh, dollar symbol okay so now you can see it is matching r and now we are going to learn about how to match multiple characters or multiple conditions basically it's not about multiple char uh, characters it's going to be multiple conditions so for example let's say i have hi i have hello or i have welcome and i have namaste okay so these are all the greetings which are available so now for example let's say if i want to match hi in that case i'm just going to write hi and it is going to match that and now let's say i want to see whether this text contains hi or hello in that case we have something which is called uh, pipe okay so here you can see we have quantifier and or uh, what's that alternation okay so we need to use uh, basically in short we need to use this pipe character and then we need to define or we need to tell it uh, about the second condition so here i can tell hello so now it is going to either match hello or hi or it is going to match both of them okay so if similarly i can put all my greetings here like i, I can put welcome we can put namaste and then it is going to continue matching all of these okay and now let's uh, let's you know talk about uh, something else which is actually very uh, very useful and it is called looking ahead or looking behind okay so now in this example uh, again i'm just going to put you know some text which contains mobile number now in, in this time this mobile number also contains country code okay so and i'm going to put some more number okay so now in this case you can see we have you know two mobile numbers along with which starts with country code so what we want to do here is we want to extract country code we don't want to extract complete mobile number we just want to extract country code so what if i do slash d here now if i do slash d here you can see it is matching all the digits now what if i do uh, let's say since i want only two digits and i already you know told you that we can use range so you would have already known or probably you would have guessed that if i in the curly brace if i use a two then it is going to match two digits okay now but the thing here is now what is happening here is it is you know matching set of each two digits okay now, so that is again something which you don't want you just want first you know you just want uh, basically match first two digits and you don't care about anything else so in that kind of scenario you can use something which is called uh, look ahead so look ahead basically you are looking ahead you are not grabbing anything you are looking ahead okay and similarly we have look back as uh, look behind as well 
so you are just looking behind from your current position but you are not grabbing that text okay so it can be in uh, useful in the information when you want to extract something and before that you want to see whether you know something exists or doesn't exist in in uh, uh, ahead of your position or behind of your position so for example in this scenario uh, i'm just going to grab uh, this syntax of looking ahead and it has been by the way already mentioned here as well so you can see positive look ahead negative look ahead and again there is positive uh, look behind and negative look behind as well so i'm just going to put it here and we can okay so now you can see what we are telling here is we are so this uh, question mark equal to is basically to you know look ahead and then we are telling look ahead anything which has 10 digits okay so look ahead if you find anything which has 10 digits then just grab the first two digits okay uh, this is what we are telling it here now is it going to match my employee id for example let's say if i give you know something like this is it gonna match no it's not matching right because we don't uh, satisfy the condition which we have put uh, put there in the expression so let's say you if you have you know any other digit other than mobile number then it's not going to match those things okay so it is able to cleanly uh, going to check your check the mobile number and then going to grab the country code so again here in this example you can see these are you know some of the line items which i have put here in a list of mobile numbers and then again uh, you know something similar what i had done above so we are doing this something similar we are putting everything in description and then what this line is doing is um, we are in the data frame we are creating a new column which is called country code and in country code again we are grabbing the first two uh, first two digits of any mobile number okay so basically we are interested in country code and then we are putting country code in in uh, country code column and then we are displaying data frame so here you can see this is a description which we have and then you can see country code which is available in all of these descriptions so from here you can know that okay this customer belongs to this country and then uh, you know that customer belongs to that country something like that okay so it is going to be useful in the scenario where you want to know which is the country where you are getting most number of queries from okay so these are actually some of the things which i found you know or i use quite often there are again there are many other conditions which you can use so for example one thing if you see here here i told you about you know positive look ahead now if you want to look negative uh, look ahead you can just put exclamation here so it is going to do a negative look ahead so it is going to match anything which doesn't contain a 10 digits you know ahead so that's the reason you know you see anything matching anything which doesn't contain uh, which doesn't basically matches 10 digits ahead so it is not really uh, something which i use a lot you know anything other than this which i told you uh, that is something which i use a lot or to clean up the data or to find uh, regular expressions and so the basic idea here which i wanted to tell you guys that you know this is something uh, regex is something which is very powerful and especially when you are working uh, in data cleanup then you really need to use it a lot uh, especially when you are doing nlp kind of uh, scenarios where you do not have clean data you want to do clean data and uh, or probably you want to do lemmatization or you want to remove you know stop words punctuation so before you do anything else okay before you do anything else you just want to clean up the data and for that uh, regex is going to be your friend okay so you are going to use regex a lot now for uh, you know many other advanced thing uh, we are going to probably if you know if uh, there is you know a lot of people watching it or there is a request for uh, making advanced regular expression tutorial then i'm going to do that uh, in probably in one of the next videos but for now all i can do is i can give you the reference of this uh, you know cheat sheet which you can use of course to match different sort of you know uh, patterns or scenarios and then if you just you know go back to uh, ch uh, cheat sheet there are a lot of other uh, things available as well which can you know be useful and can really you know help you in your learning path so that's all I had to tell uh, in terms of you know, regular expression and uh, probably now I'm going to begin a new series in which we are going to be talking about uh, Azure Cloud or Google Cloud or AWS Cloud. So my plan is to make something which is going to be really useful. So for example, uh, recently I have been doing all the certifications. So you can see, you know, this is uh, Microsoft just 
uh, your fundamentals but i have done you know a few more and i'm just planning that uh, there are i don't really see much information available in uh, hindi language where people uh, people can learn about all of these things okay so i'm just thinking to start something on you know com- uh, finishing certification on cloud technologies and uh, let me know if you are interested in this kind of series so i will start creating you know complete series which is going to help you from the beginning uh, to learn cloud technologies and also going to help you to clear the certification so that's all in this video see you again in the next video